Mm. Ah. No use sitting around and talking. I need action. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I know, and we will. Just after we change out of our pajamas. Finally, you and your sisters. Uh, again, I don't understand any of these words. You find Chloe, Penny, and Brooks. Waiting for you inside. Oh, um, <laughs> Elena. Yep. You're not hurt. I got this. Horrible sense that the reef came. Actually, kind of cute. It reminds me that I'm your biggest weakness. <laughs> hey, I represent that. <laughs> you could never be my weakness, Elaine. You should know that by now. Before I barf, I think I can explain for the for bidding feeding you got. <clears throat> so what does this? Brooks makes a good point. That was good. So, the weekend's never gonna die. He's not anytime soon. He's the, he's the only real threat we see. What can, what can you tell us about the mistress of the sealed, wherever you call it? I can feel her power, but she can take any physical form she desires. So I wouldn't rec recognize her. I saw her. So she basically could take on any form. The bad freaking the Reef King could probably do the same too, but he can do even more.
Actually, <clears throat> I was hoping you could help us prepare for the... Are you gonna do a ritual? Well, how about we do some blood magic? <laughs> Would be fools if we didn't take the opportunity. It's a season of passions. Joy, anger, love. Oh, because it's hot as fuck. Oops. Thought that was screwed on right, but we did not. Well, here's, I think, bonfire party. Well, I don't think we're doing that. You really, you realize you're gonna have a bonfire with witches? <laughs> Plus a demon? <laughs> Hang on, is Chloe suggesting a party? Has health finally frozen over? There's a celebration aspect of the... Oh, God. Well, we definitely earned it. But we have so much to prepare for. Oh, come on. Get on. Get off your high horse, for fuck's sake. For big sake. Since my disaster of a birthday party, oh my god. Maggie still freaking breaks my heart, man. She's giving me a little on the vibes. <laughs> oh lordy my. Oh good lord. We have to reef can, can still see what we're doing. Dude, the guy's in a cage, like Lucifer was. So there's a good chance he's not gonna hear what well he could. He could be seeing through another person's eyes or something. Ah oh, big sick. The Rift King will come whether or not we panic about it. Best to do what we can to prepare and take advantage of the good things in our reach while we still can. What do you mean, good things? You, Maggie. You and Brooks. <laughs> Summer of Sisterhood and all things. <laughs> yeah. What she said. <laughs> I didn't mean my burps to cut in like that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. When I think of everything we have, this life and this. Maybe 
Believe me, I know I am. <laughs> Maggie, I know you're trying to protect me as much as I appreciate and admire the strength that it takes. I'm Elena's best friend. I'm already involved in this. Rather, you really can do it. Nuts. Look, if you really want to talk to me again, I can respect that. Advanced. Jesus. Sweet Jesus. You were stabbed. Yeah, no shit. Which is gonna happen a few dozen fucking times. Because he's mortal. Unless you have a spell to make him an original vampire. <laughs> oh, we'll just freaking accept how things are. Up, You're really something else. You know that. <laughs> now we just gotta get the other sister involved with somebody. Which we're probably not gonna be able to do that. See, that's another thing I love for the story to focus on. Having all three sisters and dating somebody. But I don't see that happening. It's what it is, I guess, but it would make me happy. <laughs> so I think both sisters deserve to have a shot of happiness. Consider the Brooks's logic. Hell no. <laughs> I mean, what is this? A Disney princess movie? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it can be if you suck it up and kiss your prince. Oh god. We're talking. <laughs> I need to clean my face, man. Um, not not all of us can live in in fairy tale land where the people we care about are mega powerful. More than Zelina. Hmm, yeah, I can see what she means by that because I, I am dating a, a demon, so. <laughs> oh, damn it. Try to open this without my phone being abandoned. Should have poured that one in that bottle. Mystery in the bottle. I don't know what the hell I'm going on about. <laughs> I like that. I I'm glad you're here. Wish you were here. <laughs> Yet again, I don't know what I'm on about. We can't take everything for granted. Yeah, no shit. That's why we're having this moment, aren't we? <laughs> I'll leave you to your ritual. Just call my name if you need me. That sounds like my cue to make myself scarce as well. I call the car 
I just scrubbed the sigil and I'll be there. You gather the supplies you need and the three of you descend into Penny's basement while Brooks and Penny remain upstairs. So what do you have in mind for this protection ritual? Hmm. So this is what we're doing. We're... Protection ritual? So we're going to do a protection spell. I never recalled you doing like a... Can't you just cast a protection spell? I guess you have to have a specific one because the Reef King's mega powerful. Is that salt? If I were trying to kill it, not freaking bound it to something. <laughs> Next we need mm, the running eyes. Hmm. Oh, something's happening. Damn oh shit, we're casting a spell, damn it. Jesus. When I tied this around her, her left wrist, the spell was set. What spell? I guess it's supposed to be a, some type of protection spell. I'll offer you whiskey to lift your spell. Mm, that's not a bad idea. Brass knuckles for my kick ass sister. Ah. Uh, Dude, uh, unless they're enchanted, which I'm assuming they are, because we're witches. Uh, let me give her something. I'd rather give Maggie something, protect herself. Because if she dies, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be annoyed. the red ribbon. It's called blue ribbon, dumbass. It's a show. <laughs> it's a show. Yeah. That was a, a blue ribbon and beer reference. Protect us from spying eyes. Attempt no sight to pry. Evil spirits, wicked watchers, had what I say. What's next? We're gonna start chanting stuff to resurrect the wind dragon of raw. Last time I recall, I'm not Merrick Ishtar, I can't do that. <laughs> Where did 
you learn that ritual. I may have done some reading last night after Maggie's nightmare. <sighs> I don't doubt it. I swear to God, Mag, something happens. See, that's another thing that could make a good storyline. I I hate to say it, but because it would make it, it would make the whole game way better. Yeah. What would make a good storyline is if Maggie temporarily dies, and I we somehow find a way to resurrect her. Cause that's def that's one thing is the originals did perfect. I mean, at least with the whole Cole, Cole and the Venus situation. I feel like half of my my YouTube videos have been like me referencing the originals. It's crazy. I thought I said Bennett for a second. I'm like, Brooks, your sister's Bonnie Bennett? What? <laughs> That would be a hell of a twist, but that would be Son of a... Son of a beastie, you know? He smooch from... Brooks Barrett. Clearing the air with Brooks. Uh... Is this me? Why is my character wanting to kiss? My sister's... Character's a lesbian, so I don't think that's a good idea. a coven as women need to come to terms with our emotional emotions before the summer I know I I want for me and I want for that for my sisters Oh, no shit. This uh. <sighs> is long, man. Why the episode's got darkness in the title? I feel like something wicked's gonna happen. I feel like we're gonna have to end up putting another part into this. Man, <laughs> I need to start playing more of these games, man. Fill up with diamonds. <laughs> God damn it, man. Well, looks like we're, we're way romancing her. Spend the afternoon with. Go 
us at home. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> bloody hell, man. Dick sick. Trying to fight the urge for Okay.